Hey guys, 91 Extreme RT here with a little overclocking and benchmarking video for the new R9290X graphics card. Now, I went into the new AMD Catalyst Control Center. This is a Catalyst uh, version 13.11 uh, Beta 7. And uh, I kind of like this new system, how you can do everything by percentage. Um, requires a little more math uh, to do in your head uh, versus just selecting a given megahertz or uh, clock speed for this stuff. But uh, first thing I did was turn the 95 degree uh, temperature down to 80 because personally I don't like anything getting over 80, 80 degrees Celsius and I kicked up the fan piece speed to 70% uh, versus max fan speed of 55%. Um, I bumped up the... Uh, clock settings for the memory up 7% and I moved up the GPU 7% and with both of those being moved up 17% that's you know a total of 14% so I figured I'd give it that plus one more percent of power so 15% more power so I am going All right, and here's the benchmark video, or not the benchmark video, but the benchmark results uh, with Fraps running. Um, I didn't record it with Frap. Well, I recorded f with it with Fraps running, but I didn't want to put that into this video because I just didn't want to waste time, and it would take my computer forever to load that resolution uh, up to YouTube. So, because um, I have a really shitty upload speed. I think I have like a one meg upload speed. So I didn't want to spend six hours uploading this video. So I didn't include that uh, video or section of the video in this, this video. So I'm just showing you the results with a slight overclock on the Radeon R9290X single graphics card. A slight overclock while recording Firestrike Extreme with Fraps running. Um, I, d I expected it to be the same as my last benchmark, right around, you know, 38, 39, uh, or, or 48, 39. Um, maybe a little bit lower because Fraps was running, but it actually scored almost 100 points higher. So I guess the more you throw at this card, uh, the more it likes it. Um, even with that slight overclock, um, I, was, I wasn't expecting the score to be higher. So this card is very good for recording with. So, I mean, you shouldn't have any issue or FPS drop, you know, recording anything else uh, with this card. Now, I did play Battlefield 4 before. I didn't upload the video, and I'm not going to upload the video because the file size was like 20 gig, and it would take me like half a week to upload it. Um, but I noticed in Battlefield 4 at max, full max resolutions and settings with this card, um, running at a 2560 by 1440 resolution, is that... When going from just playing the game to recording with Fraps, there was not more than a two to three FPS drop, um, and it, it hovered right around 100 frames a second. So um, I'm very, very happy with this card. For $600, it's pulling these numbers, and as you can see, I mean, it's a couple hundred points higher than a i7-4770K and GTX Titan system, and I'm running this hardware right here, the new Radeon r 9 x graphics card, obviously, and the AMD FX8350 processor. And that AMD FX8350 processor is at the stock boost uh, speed. Um, look at the processor here, cores, 8-core. It's at the stock 4.2 gigahertz boost clock. Um, that's what it, it comes with out of the box. I did not overclock it at all. So um, it's pretty beastly rig here, and I am very happy with this graphics card so far. Um, I would recommend it to anyone looking for a, a semi-affordable. I mean, I know around $600 is quite a chunk of change for a graphics card, but you will not be disappointed with this card, and this card will last you minimum probably three or four years um, before you have to upgrade. Um, this card is just a powerhouse. Um, like I said before, Battlefield 4 at you know 2.5K resolution, it's holding steady max settings at over 100, right around 100 frames a second. A little over, a little under. It bounces anywhere between 90 and 110 frames a second on average. So, um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you later.